Well, the Steelers host the Carolina Panthers in their final preseason game in just over an hour at Heinz Field. And fans started arriving at the stadium parking lots uh, three hours or so ago, and they are well into tail tailgating now. But tailgating may be changing. John Shumway is live with more on that. John. Yeah, this is a preseason crowd here tonight, as you might expect. But if you think about tailgating and Steelers games, it has really evolved over the years. For one thing, there simply aren't as many parking spaces for tailgating as there once was. There are parking garages where you really can't cook and do the kind of tailgating you'd like to do. The Steelers are counter-programming, providing uh, up along Art Rooney Way. Tonight, you got the Rip Fest, and now you got Franco's Pizza up there. And meanwhile, the NFL is saying, you know, we should do a policy where, come game time, no fans are left in the parking lot. The fans around Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City love their Chiefs as much as Steelers fans love the black and gold. And many come to party even though they don't have tickets to the game. The Chiefs are about to put a limit on tailgating following an NFL best practice guideline. Their recommendation is to stop tailgating at kickoff. Um, and they're really doing it from a safety and security standpoint. Meaning the NFL is recommending across the league that fans still in the lots after kickoff will be told to go into the game or leave. I don't like that idea. That's not our tradition. It is the same policy Heinz Field adopted for all three country concerts this year. But Steelers games are a different animal. We haven't had problems, so we continue to just plan as we, we have done in the past. The Steelers deferred comment to Alco Parking, which runs the parking lots. And Reed says all of the stakeholders have talked this over. We're all comfortable with uh, the way we have it currently, and at the moment we have no plans to change it. So fans without tickets to the game. People are fine to stay. And he says issues do occur and will be handled as they are now on a case-by-case -case basis. And we have our police officers approach them and we'll tell them that they need to either pack it up and leave or go to the game. I think you got to just let people be free you know, around the stadium. It's just a good atmosphere. And again, this is a suggestion, a recommendation from the NFL, not an edict. So at least for now, in the Hinesville parking lots, once we get the regular season going, if fans want to hang out and watch the game on a TV, they'll be able to do it. But it is a situation that will be constantly under review. Live at Hinesville, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.